This have is fun, going relax. to be a very focused spring break forecast coming Let's up. Let's see it. So we're going to start talking a little bit more about those rip currents we just heard about from the Jasani Foundation. One of the main areas we see these rip currents are by jetties and piers. So the Packery Channel jetty is one location where there are several rip currents. The surfers love to use them to help them get out to be able to catch the waves. But if you don't know what you're dealing with, they can be extremely dangerous. Uh, that is rushing water away from the shore. You kind of see breaks in the waves where the waves are not breaking. That's where you're going to see a rip current and um, it, don't go out in the water alone. Always have a buddy. If caught, don't fight the rip current. You can ride it out and then it gets easier to get out of it, but you definitely want to swim parallel. Don't swim straight back to the beach. That's how you're, it's going to be like a treadmill if you're swimming uh, straight back to the beach and you're not going to go anywhere. The beach flag warning system that is used to alert you of when rip currents are going to be uh, possible. Even a green flag doesn't mean there's a zero chance, but it means the waters are fairly safe to enjoy. Yellow means there's hazardous conditions. There's a moderate risk for those rip currents and the red is the highest risk. Definitely use the buddy system or just avoid getting in the water on red flag days, which we do get a lot of here in the coastal bend. Maybe don't go out deep, stay, you know, like knee deep or so forth. But orange is pollutants in the water and blue is those things that can sting you like jellyfish or Portuguese man of war. That's an important one too because oh, those Portuguese man of war, those tentacles can wrap around you and, and be very, very painful. So temperatures in the 70s at the beach today, low tide coming up at 1103. We will see some cloud coverage, but still lots of sunshine. Wind is fairly light today. Easterly winds at times an east northeast wind as well. Those winds will be great if you're headed out on the water today. Fairly smooth conditions, waves two feet, winds out of the east five to 10 miles per hour. Water temperature now in the low 70s, so it's heating up. We do see our waves about three feet off the coast right now, and they're going to stay two to three feet as the stationary front inches close. We'll get them closer to two to four feet as we head into the weekend. A cold front slides south there on our Sunday and behind the front into Monday wave heights pick up. That'll make some hazardous conditions on the beach, but it's not big wave days where we see the rip currents or high wind days. It's even light wind days as well. They tend to form on those days even more. We are going to see some hazardous conditions out in the water. 8 to 12 foot swells will be possible. So offshore fishing use cautious there. Caution there. Temperatures in the 70s, but we do get a cold front Monday into Tuesday. That front is going to have our wind shifting out of the northeast. Waves will then begin to shift out of the north northeast as well, and we are going to see your seven day forecast with temperatures in the 90s inland on Sunday near 90 on Saturday, a slim chance of rain on Monday with that behind that cold front. But spring weather is here for spring break, John.